What's going on YouTube? This is yours truly on some Ray coming at you guys with another video and we are getting ready to go off into gun range. I know it's going to be loud in there so I want to kind of explain what I'm going to do before I actually go in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some shotgun pattern. I'm going to use the uh, Mossberg Shockwave uh, 20 gauge 14 inch barrel and we're going to run some number one buckshot by Rio which is going to have nine pellets. And for our 12 gauge, we are going to run the Maverick 88. It's going to be number one buckshot by Rio as well, but this is going to be 12 pellets. And uh, we're going to use two targets. One target is going to be 10 feet away, and the other one is going to be 20 feet away. Just want to kind of see how these two uh, match up uh, against each other. You know, a 20 inch barrel versus a uh, 12 inch, I'm sorry, a 14 inch barrel, and also nine pellets versus 12 uh, pellets. So let's go ahead and go into gun range, see how everything works out. Stand by. YouTube these are our targets so the one here on your left that's going to be our number one buckshot for the 20 gauge at 10 foot and the one here on your right is going to be our 12 gauge number one buck at 10 foot so there seems to be a big difference uh, between you know three extra pellets and the extra power of the um, 20 inch barrel versus the 40 inch barrel but yeah it's a larger uh, more dense pattern if you look at it closely all right, so let's go to 20 feet away. So this is gonna be your number one uh, 20 gauge buckshot, nine pellets. And this is gonna be your 12 gauge, um, 12 pellets. Uh, this is from 20 feet. So look at the comparisons here. If you look at um, our 12 gauge uh, cousin here, it's just a much, much more denser pattern. You know, it's three extra pellets, but man, it seems like a whole lot more when you look at it there. 12 versus nine pellets. But yeah, I was just wanted to do a little, um, you know, short presentation here. Just wanted to kind of answer some questions and see which one pattern is the best. But man, based on these patterns here, man, I may have to switch up to 12 gauge and go away from 20 gauge. Unless I use like maybe number four or something like that. It's like a larger pattern. And I just love the size of the pattern of that number one. And I tried to use, um, you know, 12 pellets to make it uh, fair. I didn't want to use the 16 pellet version because that would make it even even more lopsided but man if you look at that closely that is a big big difference but guys that is about all i have for you guys today i'll catch you in the next video like always keep 2a live have a great